Hello again, everybody. This is Scott at Comic Book Hangover doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be in front of the camera. I'm going to try to be in front of the camera a little bit more as time goes on because it kind of occurred to me that it's uh, it, it kind of gets a little boring when you're just seeing video after video after video and all you're getting is somebody's hands and you know a few comic books and they talk about it and move on. So I figured I'm going to try this, see how it works. It's been a long time since I've been in front of the camera. Usually I only do this sort of stuff when I do the Marvelous Box unboxing videos, which I should be getting one of those soon, I hope, because those are awesome. Uh, actually, this book here came from a marvelous box. So, uh, we're going to jump into the books that I got this week. I got a pretty big stack, and hopefully it's the last big stack I get for a while, because I just cannot afford to do this many books. So, uh, first off is going to be Absolute Carnage, Symbiote of Vengeance. Uh, this is the one shot featuring uh, Danny Ketch, Johnny Blaze, the original Ghost Riders, and they are trying to save uh, the uh, ghost, the female Ghost Rider Alejandra from Carnage, who's now on this on this tear through the Marvel Universe to take out anybody who's ever had a symbiote to get their codexes or codices or however you want to say it. Uh, so I mainly picked this up because it's part of the Ghost Rider thing. Uh, he is getting uh, Ghost Rider is getting a new ongoing series in the next month or two, and I am I am cautiously optimistic about it. The way Ghost Rider has been portrayed the past couple of years to a decade or so, I, I really haven't been too pleased with. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping that this new Ghost Rider series puts things back on track. But I'm grabbing uh, all, the, all the Ghost Rider stuff up that I can. So starting with um, uh, the Avengers series and then this here. So it was kind of neat to see Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze and then Ghost Rider, my Ghost Rider, Danny Ketch, uh, face off against Carnage. It seems like they kind of weaken the Ghost Rider's powers a little bit. I don't know, but it was a good read. It's it's a one-shot. It's $5, but it's definitely a good read. Uh, the next one I got is uh, probably under the category of... So, yeah, they published this. This is from Action Lab. Chainsaw Reindeer. Another one-shot. And it is just as, as it says. It's a reindeer with a chainsaw. It's actually one of Santa's reindeer who, after enduring who knows how many years of horrific treatment from Santa Claus, decides to take matters into his own hands. He does have hands, not hooves. And after he eliminates Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus, decides to go around the world and just just take out humanity. So this is just basically is what it says. It's a, it's a reindeer with a chainsaw going around the world, slaughtering people left and right. So if you're looking for pointless violence and mindless fun, this is definitely a book for you. Next up, and this is um, uh, from my one of my new favorite publishers, Alterna Comics. Alterna Comics. So uh, they they had a, a, a week of books last week. They uh, apparently there was some sort of an issue with with uh, distributing or something. I don't know. But basically, what this means is for people like me, we get the joy of having two weeks of Alterna books in a row. So first one that I got is the Psycho Ko new mini series issue one of three. This is a fun little series. It's uh, sort of uh, sort of like old school Deadpool, right? Right when he was learning that he was a comic book character and kind of having fun with the comic book aspect of it. That's what Psycho Ko is, is is about. And I mean, the art style is it's very kind of old school. It's almost like a Scooby Doo, and the the capers or the adventures that he goes on are, are sort of like a Scooby Doo uh, level of violence and scares. So it's just a fun little book. I'm really really enjoying it, uh, and and look forward to seeing more uh, Psycho Ko uh, from DC. Another dollar comic. I want to look this up, but I, I don't think this is actually the original cover. So something that DC did with their their first dollar comic is they they didn't um, use the original cover. They 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 used the book to promote the Batwoman series that's going to be on the CW. But regardless, even if they do decide to screw this up and uh, replace all the original covers, you're still getting the stories. And that's mostly uh, what we want to look into. We, I mean, this this is a story I read. I watched the uh, the animated feature for it. I really enjoyed it. Now I'm curious about the the original story. So this is this is my beginning. This is my introduction to it. We got Go Go Power Rangers number twenty three, continuing the necessary evil story. And uh, yeah, this is this this issue mostly focuses on Jason, and it takes place during the Shattered Grid story. So you're, you're kind of jumping back and forth. It's something that, that this uh, that this Necessary Evil story seems to do a lot. And in some ways it's kind of confusing, but it, it does eventually make sense. 
Uh, this one, it's it's basically you you find out you know kind of what Jason was going through during Shattered Grid at one moment in time where he wasn't able to help out the other Rangers. Uh, back with uh, Alterna Comics, we've got in case you missed it, number uh, number eight. This is Trespasser number four four. Trespasser is a really good post-apocalyptic sci-fi uh, series with a, a man and his daughter trying to survive in sort of a, a nuclear post-apocalypse, and they come across an alien, and it just kind of kind of goes from there. It's, it's a really interesting story with an ending that you didn't quite expect. I didn't expect. I had no idea that they were going to do what they did in that book. Uh, they've also got, from Alternative Comics, it came out on a Wednesday. This is also issue 8. This is their ongoing double-sized anthology series, also published bi-monthly, and it goes for $1.99. It's on newsprint. Uh, so that, that's one thing I always like to talk about with Alternative Comics. Their books are cheap. Their books, they're, they're, uh, the In Case You Missed It, is 99 cents. Came out on the Wednesday as a dollar ninety nine. Most of their books are a buck fifty for original stories, no reprints. On newsprint, mini series, great stories, great art, some great covers. Actually, there, there's there's one that's coming up that I want to share with you that has an amazing cover. To me, it's an amazing cover. But uh, this one here has the uh, has a little bit of a preview. If you look at that right there, it says Gods and Gears. That's a mini series that they got coming up that I've been looking forward to for a long time. It's coming up soon, and I cannot wait. It also continues the adventures of the, the Legends of Log, which is a great little black and uh, white serial that they've got in here uh, about a, a, a giant log with an axe that protects this forest. And it's a lot of fun. And I think they're, they said that they're going to be collecting those uh, the serialized story into a, a one-shot or something. I'm going to be grabbing that, too. Uh, I expect the cover to be pretty epic. Midnight Mysteries. This is the second volume, City of Ghosts, number two. And if if you like mystery books, if you like a good mystery series, and this also has a very noir feel to it, the art is, is really well done. The stories are great. Uh, this is definitely a book to check out. And again, only a buck fifty. You can't you can't really go wrong with that. Uh, Mighty Mascots number three. This is wrapping up their first mini series for Mighty Mascots, and this is sort of a it's kind of like Wreck-It Ralph. You've got um, uh, mascots um, like different versions of say. Uh, um, the, the the characters you see on cereal boxes, that sort of thing. Through a series of events, they become living, breathing, sentient beings. And you've got the good ones and the bad ones. And this one is their first adventure of the good ones, the mighty mascots, fighting off against the first batch of evil mascots. It's a lot of fun. It's a great uh, all-ages read. Okay, now this is the one that I've been looking forward to, and I absolutely love this cover. And the book is really well done, too. Red Koi, number one. This is a two-issue micro-series, is what they're calling it. So... This is uh, an action adventure fantasy. Deals with, as you can see, deals with uh, samurai, uh, supernatural. It's dark. It's foreboding. Uh, the, the pacing of the stories, it's it's very consistent. The art is is just it's it's right on that that cusp where it could be almost too dark for the story, but it's it's not there yet. It's 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 just very well done. I I actually um, I read through this book. I read the story, and then I went through it again and just looked at the art. The art is amazing. The story is great. The art, the cover is... Oh, I love this cover. Can't wait for the second issue. And, and um, if uh, if they don't put an ending on this that is a definitive ending, I hope they do more with this. We've got a couple of True Believers. Um, this month we're doing Incredible Hulk, so we got uh, both of these. So we've got uh, Grey Hulk and Intelligent Hulk. I will be reading these. I haven't read them yet. Uh, I love these old uh, these, these reprints for the True Believers because it gives me a chance to read the books that I have I either missed out, ignored, or had no interest in at the time, but I'm going to read them now. Um, so those are all the new books that I picked up this week. I also grabbed a couple of back issues and got a bonus book too, which is pretty awesome. So the back issues I picked up are were um, from um, the back, the, like the you know, back issue bin, of course. But these two here were actually three dollars for both of them. I grabbed. Bloodshot number zero with a really neat little chromium cover. I, chromium covers were everywhere back in the 90s. So got the issue zero and issue two. These ones, uh, three bucks for these. So that's pretty cool. And I decided to also finally break down and grab Bloodshot number one. This one, uh, I think it was $8 for this one. But these are the first Valiant books I've ever bought. I, I, I've always been kind of curious about their universe, curious about their books. Uh, the, the first run of Valiant stuff is very 90s. The art is very 90s. I'm sure the story pacing and the storytelling is also as well. But Barry Windsor Smith art, you got to love that. That's that's just amazing stuff there. And also Chromium. You can kind of see the, the reflection of the mess of some of my room. 
But looking forward to reading these, and I don't know, I might be able to get into some Valiant stuff. I know they've got some movies coming out. There's a Bloodshot movie coming out with Vin Diesel starring as a character, so it gives me a chance to sort of get familiar with the characters. I, I probably will go see that movie. Um, the last book I got this week is from my com my local comic shop, Nostalgia Inc. It's in uh, the downtown area here. Every week they do a raffle where they give away a selection of books, uh, variant covers mostly, and you buy uh, first issues, you get a ticket to put in the raffle. They have a list of about 10 to 12 books every week that if you purchase any of those or their variants, you get a ticket that you could put into the raffle. Well, I picked up, I got, I, out of my stack, I got four tickets. So I put in a couple for this one here and I got the uh, Ron Lim variant for Silver Surfer Black, number four or five. This, actually, this, this caught my eye when I saw it on display at the store. Because this here, if, if, uh, if you're a longtime reader and longtime fan of the Silver Surfer, you'll, you'll, you'll recognize this as the skull that was uh, Death's Realm back in Silver Surfer number 34, when the surfer went to a deserted planet, he hadn't slept in who knows how long, so he decides to finally get, get some sleep. He falls asleep and he sort of has this dream where he sees Death's Realm, and this is the, that was the issue where Mistress Death resurrects Thanos and gives him the quest of killing off half the sentient beings in the universe. So this is a, sort, of a, sort of a callback, sort of an homage to that, and I love this. Anybody who, um, of anybody actually who does Thanos, Ron Lim does the absolute best Thanos ever. I mean, if it's if it's a Ron Lim Thanos, I will be checking it out and buying it. Um, I'm not too thrilled with the art in this book. I kind of, I did flip through it. I'm still not digging it, but you know what are you gonna do? So uh, let's check out the wall. We're just gonna move on because this the video is going kind of long. So we're gonna go ahead and just check out the wall. Okay, so there we go. There's uh there's all the books that I picked up this week. Another great selection of books. A lot of publishers have some amazing things coming out. So as I always say, I'm going to wrap this up real quick. So as I always like to say, you know, anytime you go to your comic shop, ask them to uh, to recommend something for you. See, it's 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 always good. It's always great to buy your regular stuff, but you always as as a comic book collector, you should always be looking for something new, always something fresh. You know, keep things exciting, keep things original. So check out some uh, some of these alternative books. You know, Red Koi is a great series. Uh, in case you miss it, is a really good one. It's only ninety nine cents, but it's a good way to sort of get caught up on some of the older stuff that they have. I mean, if they're in the back issue bin, they're probably going to be a buck, you know, maybe a buck fifty. But still, you're getting a full issue reprint on newsprint. Great stuff. If you're looking for something that's just purely insane, Chainsaw Reindeer is is right up your alley. That that that's just that's just, that was just a crazy crazy book. But always check out something new, and you know. Grab your books from your from your uh, from your pull box. Don't uh, don't let them uh, stack up. Cause it it's uh, it, it does hurt the comic shop uh, a little bit if you keep letting your books stack up. So uh, as, if if you're falling behind, you know, grab a you know, get your new books. Grab three or four of your old books. You know, kind of get that uh, get that pull box emptied out. So that's that's all my PSAs for this week. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you feel if you feel like it, go ahead and comment down below. Love getting into conversations about comic books. Go ahead and uh, subscribe, um, like the video, share it, and we will see you next week. Oh, we'll not be having a, uh, a, a Signature Sunday video this week. I'm going to be doing that on a bi-weekly basis now. It's gotten to the point where it's kind of, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm too busy to do two videos right now. So, But I'm looking for something else to do, so hopefully I will have an easier video for me to do as a secondary, as a weekly uh, thing. So uh, we'll see you all next Thursday with another weekly haul video. Thanks for watching.